And then what do we do? You have kids every day leaving elementary school and they can't tell you what seven plus four is without counting on their fingers. And we don't see that as a failure. That is a monumental failure. Many parents have been traumatized by math themselves. We found a study that said that parents would rather talk to their children about sex and drugs than help them with their math homework. There's this anxiety around, I'm supposed to know math and I didn't understand it myself and I can't work with my children. Wait, how many of you are able to know your multiples up to 105? We want kids to develop number fluency, this kind of mental map for doing numbers and having this really strong foundation for being able to do math quickly and easily in your head. I remember I was probably eight, recognizing that if every telephone number had seven digits, how many telephone numbers could there be? And I, started trying to come up with a system for figuring out how many telephone numbers there could be. The math that I was doing was not um, connected to the math I was doing in school, so I didn't recognize it as math. I was a history major, and in my sophomore year I took an economics course and I loved it, and it was because it was so mathematical. It made so much sense. Every math problem you see represents a real world problem outside. So you might see a problem three times five and you can turn that into a real world math problem. I have five friends and they all got three cookies and how many cookies did you get? When my daughter started elementary school, I was stunned at how little math she knew and understood by the end of second grade. She was like a deer in headlights. I started this very long spreadsheet of, very, of discrete skills that students should know by the time they leave fifth grade. And it could be as simple as counting money, you know, telling time on an analog clock, you know, measuring you know, how many quarts are in a gallon. But we ended up having every grade level um, from kindergarten to fifth grade in our house after school. We got to the point where we had a waiting list that was like a year and a half long. That's when I realized that this actually is a business. One of the challenges for trapezium math for schools is that we are a very different model for how you teach math. And in our space, you know, we don't have tables and chairs. Kids get to move around. They get to decide what their math level is. We are far more successful with independent schools because they are, they have the flexibility of thinking differently about how you teach children. 35. Our first group of students are now in sixth grade and have been there since kindergarten. And we do, we do standardized testing for them regularly and have found that our students are testing two and three grade levels above grade level. How do we create something that builds confidence in children around math and helps them to do math, really hard math at really young ages? I mean, that's the thing that's very exciting. Christian. 77. 77. Very good. Good job, guys. Thank you. Bye.